How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another Car Mechanic Simulator video and in today's video we're going to be starting the day off by heading to the junkyard picking up I think two more builds, one or two more builds, see what we can find in uh, about two or three trips. Um, hopefully we can find a more modern Mercedes because that's what I really want to work on um, because I didn't wasn't able to do this in the last video with uh, other Mercedes we worked on but uh, Playway added in the uh, Mercedes DLC tuning thing. Let me show you here. So we go to the tuning shop. Uh, Mercedes. Oh wait, let's do uh, 186. Is that what it was? Yeah, the M186. Yeah. So see here, they added some uh, some parts to that. So I could have used these parts on the other one, but it wasn't until the day after I made that video um, is when they added the tuning parts, which really sucks. But nonetheless, let's go here to the junkyard um so yeah we're gonna try trying to find one of the two more modern mercedes and if we can find anything else cool along the way there's still a few cars i've been looking for uh that i haven't quite found yet so that is the uh the goal on them let's see all right oh what is Oh, oh, Audi R8 and a BMW. Okay, that's why I don't need those. Starting off with pretty good, uh, pretty good finds though. All right, looks like we got a Impala or a Charger Impala. Yeah. Um, NSX, another Audi, a Lotus. Dang, okay, nothing. I should really go into the Steam Workshop and actually go through and take out some of the other older cars that I have had in my game for a while now. Um, because as you guys saw there, uh, like the Audis and stuff like that, they'll just spawn. And I'm not really using them anymore. Uh, the only issue with that is if I ever visit my parking again, um, I either have to quit the game and go reinstall the mod or I have to just say okay and then it deletes it from my game so I do lose it but it would probably be better for me to go through and just sell everything I'm gonna not be using my parking anymore because I have lost quite a few cars doing that honestly all right okay two trash ones Oh, what is this? Oh, 911 Carrera S. It's been a long... I don't think I've worked on the Carrera S. I don't think we have. Another one of those. Another Audi. Okay. Um. Alright, looks like nothing good. Alright, I'm just going to start running through junkyard finds here, guys, then. Left and right. And I'll see you guys back here uh, with something a little bit more um, impressive. Give this one a quick look over. What is this? Show me the G. Okay, yeah. All right, yeah. I'll see you guys back here uh, with something impressive. All right, guys. We finally found another Mercedes. It's actually one of the ones I wanted to find. It's one of the newer uh, ones, probably uh, late 90s, early 2000s. I'm not really sure, honestly. Um, but it's the W124 500E here. Uh, it's a V8 double overhead cam. It's the M119 uh, or M119 motor. Uh, it's a V8 motor, so that's sweet. We can get plenty of power into that. Just trying to look at the inside here, see how it looks. Not bad, not bad shape. I mean, don't be wrong, it's junkyard, so it's pretty bad shape, but it still has the motor in there, uh, which is nice, but there is no pistons. There's no pistons. There's a crankshaft, though. There's a crankshaft. And there's the gearbox and all the other suspension parts. Okay. Well, that's pretty bad, but you know what? I think we'll take it. Let me just uh, try to look around here see if there's anything else. It's a Ferrari. Oh, that's a Lancer. Okay. All right. So let's pick this one up. I think this is only like 6000 or something like that. Yeah, 6000 All right. Yeah, we'll grab this and I'll meet you guys back at the garage. All right. So after we got this thing taken back, uh, sprayed off, obviously, you can tell there's a little bit more rust on the body than I was anticipating. But that is all right, because we can fix that. 
Um, first things first, we're going to be getting that bad motor out of there and we're going to be trying to get a new one in there. Um, now that we have a performance uh, or some performance parts actually for the Mercedes DLC, this is, uh, what was this? Oh, 124. Okay. Let me see what we got for the 124 motors. Uh, 500e. Uh oh, hold on, hold on. No way. Um. Oh no, this is the M19. Oh, M119. Okay, okay, okay. I got this. M119. There we go. Oh, baby. There is a lot in here. Only 3% on the head, which is pretty bad, honestly. It's a pretty low spread for all these, actually. Let's see, that's what? Six exhaust manifold. So six, 10, 14. I think it's double overhead cam, so 18. Give it a 20-ish with these. Okay, so you can get about a 25% gain out of those parts alone. That's not including the other parts that we can add, though. Um, so, this thing could possibly shoot up at by at least 50, probably 60%. So, we can make this thing probably 500 horsepower. Dang, that's, that's not too bad. I've never actually like tried to look at the estimated amount before. So, that is not too, uh, not too shabby, actually. Alright, let's get the drive shaft dropped. I'm going to take off the... Rear muffler here. Oh, super laggy. Give me that battery too while we're up here. And the fuel tank. Alright. Only three volts holding on the gearbox here. That is sketch. Okay. And look at that. Crankshaft can come out. All right, we're gonna pull the engine out first. Otherwise, it'll be stuck. The engine will be stuck in the engine bay, and I can't actually work on it very well. So let's pull that and add it. Oops, I rotated it. Uh, get you rotated back. There we go. And that's all. That's all there was. Just uh, I think we all we had really was the transmission stuff, a blank block, and a crankshaft. All right, not too bad. Ooh, this is a nice looking block. I feel like this is way shinier than normal. Okay, so I'm just trying to think here. I'm gonna go through the basics of the parts here that we're gonna be getting. So we'll be getting piston related stuff. Eight pistons. Um, let's get our transmission stuff out of the way. Not the crank, what am I doing? The, uh, oh, clutch, jeez. Why can I not remember that? And what else are we gonna need? So we'll need some fuel stuff. Um, I think we have an extra, no, we don't have a fuel pump. No, 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 we need that. We'll get the alternator. We'll get our power steering pump. I don't think they added any new power steering pumps in. There's no variants of the V8 other than the normal one. Um, all right, so then there's that. Then we can go into here, grab everything we need for the pistons. Uh, we don't have any connecting rods or rod caps or anything of that uh, sort. So we will have to be buying them all on our own. And then usually these three for the, for the V8s. And then let's see what other parts we can get in here. What other things can we get in? Okay. Oh boy, there is a lot. Okay, I think we're just gonna do it um, just as you as I go. I'm just gonna be purchasing things for it because I am not too sure what we need. So we'll start out slow. All right, there's those. Let me get the head ready. All right, we need a V8 filter. Okay. Do we have an oil pan? Give me that. V8 oil. Grab the filter and then we'll go back to the M119. Alright, rotate this. 
Now, let me get our crankshaft bearing caps on first. I'm actually super excited to see what this thing looks like. I didn't check to see if they added any tuning parts for the body, which I'm sure this thing could be tuned pretty hard. Um, the aftermarket parts and whatnot make it look pretty crazy, but I highly doubt they added any parts for that. Um, the developers usually only put stuff in for performance related things. It's usually the, the modders who add the, the crazy body parts. We got, we got one extra. We do have one extra. Try to remember that for next time. All right. Get our oil pan on. It's a pretty funky looking oil pan. Everything drains down to the front. It all holds right there. That's a lot, too. It's a big old one. Okay, let's get this on. Let's flip to the back here. Get our flywheels, fuel filters, clutch plate. Oh, wait a second. There we go. I always think it's weird how the game just always lets you put these on, even though you're pushing it right through the engine uh, stand. So it's cool with me, though. Okay, so we need cam gear C, and then we'll buy our engine heads. Okay, so what do we got in here? Cam gear C, and then I think we're going to need... Obviously, we need one of each, one of these. Uh, we'll hold off on some of these other parts. Grab a fan pulley, grab an engine head covers. Mission coil covers, we can take those. Manifold, we're not going to grab. Thought body, we're not going to grab. Uh, we can grab these two serpentine belts. Oh, that's the power steering pump. Okay. One of these, one of these. All right. I purchased a ton of stuff. I'm not sure what's going to work or not on the front timing, so let's just find out. Okay, you got to have the heads in first. But yeah, right here, the body tuning stuff right here, guys. This one I was talking about. Yeah, see, there's nothing in there for Mercedes. Which is a shame, but it's all right. Alrighty, let's grab two separate heads. And then what do they ask for next? We got B, B, and then what is this over here? Two A's, so you got two A's, two B's. I'll grab that while we're here. We're gonna need two of those. One rear muffler, one of those, one of those, one of those, one of those. Okay, hop back to the main shop after that. <clears throat> nice shiny uh, exhaust manifold there. Oh, we're gonna need a cam gear B, cam gear A. Okay, so we're gonna need to grab how many are in here? One, two, three, four, five, eight. So 16 total. Okay, so 16 total of those. Uh, we're gonna need one more each of those. I'll kick over to the other side real quick, get those installed. I do like the general setup of this motor though. It's really, really, really good. It's just a little bit different take on the V8s that I'm used to working on. All right, get the belt in. What else can we do on the front here? Okay, so we need another B. Okay, so you need another B and a, another A. Uh, down here. Times your B, times your A. And then let me go to here. Grab those. Pretty sure after this, we should be able to put our timing cover on. Yep. And get our fuel pump. Power steering or the power steering water pump. That's what it was, yeah. Is that the fan pulley? Ah. Then we need a water pump. All 
Okay, so we need more idler roller bees. And a water pump pulley. Okay, so let's go to the water pump first. Water pump pulley. Let's grab our idlers. We're out of bees, so we're just gonna fill up on them. Place a large order at once, bulk order. Oh gosh, sorry about that. Got the dog going crazy in the background. All right, and then we need a radiator fan. Okay, yeah, so this is a little bit of an older motor, I guess. Radiator fan. The V8 overhead valve. I wonder if in the car, then the radiator is shifted to the left a lot. Let me cover B. We need one more time and cover B. There it is. All right. Now for one of the parts I've been dreading. We'll be putting on 16 camshaft caps. Obviously doing these in real life would be so much worse because you got to torque each one of these down to an exact specification. And with the heads, I think you... You torque them down, stretch the bolts, then you loosen them, and then you torque them again. I think that's how the ARP head studs work. I don't know. For those of you who know what I'm referring to, I think you'll you'll know what I'm trying to say. Okay. Head cover. Super sick white head cover. Don't know how clean it would stay over time, but, you know, more power to them, I guess. All right, we'll do all these ones. So I do need ignition coils first. I thought there was an ignition coil. Oh, no, those are just the fuel lock, fuel rails. Okay, never mind. I was going to say, looks like all the fuel rails, or all the fuel injectors are also on the same rail. That's interesting. I wonder how they hold a consistent pressure. Okay, uh, get all the spark plugs in. Let me just shift over here. This motor has been actually pretty fun to work on, honestly. It's pretty, pretty cool. Okay, I always get excited when they add new motors into the game. Um, just because it adds, I think I said this before, but it adds so much uh, pen, pen, uh, potential. Jeez, um, ignition on engine. All right. Okay. Two. One, two. And what do they have on here? Air filter base. Air filter base. Okay. We already bought everything out of there. Okay, so all this stuff is going to be in the main shop now. Uh, air filter base. So another one of those. I'm going to need another air filter then. I think that's how that works. What? What? I didn't buy another one? Okay. Yeah, two air filters, and then one large cover. Alrighty, where does this thing take air in that then? What the heck? Oh, there it is. Okay, I was like, where does this thing take air? Add these clips on. I barely noticed these clips, I will say that. All right, there we go, though, guys. I think that is the Mercedes M119 motor complete. Pretty, uh, pretty detailed motor. I mean, pretty cool, too. I mean, it's just, yeah, it's such a good motor. Okay. 
let's see here. What else can we do? The motor area, uh, engine bay. All right, so we're gonna need another ABS piece. Get the module. Then we also need a brake booster. Whoop. I think it's weird how it's, it says brake pump on here, but then they call it a brake servo. Hmm. All right, get our last stuff in. All right. So, you know what? We're going to run this today. We are going to make this thing run in this video. Let's finish it up real quick. There's not too much more to add, I don't think. Get the gearbox in there. We'll probably have to come back. If we're going to turn this into anything like with real uh, real power potential, probably have to put on some slicks or racing tires on it. But for now, on the uh, dyno, I think these ones will work. Alright, and then let me get to the back here. We'll add a fuel tank. And then, oh, do I have two batteries that are like half capacity then? Ah, dang, okay. Oh, wait, no, I think I actually have a battery charging, don't I? I don't, okay. Okay, so you can leave that on there for a second. In reality, it would probably take like an hour to charge or something like that, or 45 minutes. But, there we go. So obviously this isn't going to look good when we're running it, but it's just purely for getting some power down. Let me slide around here, isn't that where? Yes, starters that you can access from this lower level. That is what I like to see. Alrighty, let's uh, shift you back to the entrance. Probably anything I need to get a driver's seat in there. Uh, no, I just need to get a steering wheel. Okay, that will work. Where's the oil at? No, you can't fill the oil unless you take off the air cover. That is annoying, but a minor flaw nonetheless. Alrighty, put that air cover back on. Okay, now I don't think we need a steering wheel in here to make this thing turn over. Oh yeah, there we go. Then we're gonna move this. To the dyno all right probably wouldn't want to run it like all rusted out like it is but you know what? i'll take it it's it's fine radiator fan housing b ah there's a radiator missing oh no let me click the engine okay that makes sense i was like i didn't even notice that so radiator a radiator I think that's what they said it wanted, so. All right. So 326 horsepower, I'm estimating 500. I'm gonna give it to 500 mark. Like a 66% gain or something like that. Dang, almost 50 exactly though. So 487 horsepower uh, with a fully built motor in this Mercedes Benz right here. That is not too, not too bad. Uh, next video though, we'll be working on it completely, uh, restoring it, making it look super nice, putting some nicer rims, tires on there. Uh, getting the interior cleaned out, adding the body panels and we're missing. But there we go, guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment down below. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. We're almost to 100K. So close. I think we're like, what, 5,000 away? Um, so hopefully we will hit that soon. But thank you all for watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys on the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.